welcome to day one of weeks 11 through 12 of build still in deep denial that this is coming to an end so let's all pretend it's not okay great if you just clicked on this workout this is part of the build program which is a 12-week workout program designed to help you build muscle build strength build confidence build a booty build all kinds of stuff so there will be a link in the description box if you want to start from the beginning if you've been around for a while hi how you doing how's it going how you feeling um ignore all these boxes i you know i'm not even gonna be vague about it um my boyfriend and i are buying a house and we're moving in next week so just pretend to be surprised when i post that on instagram thank you so much today we're doing upper body and core so you're gonna need your mat you're gonna need a chair and you're gonna need your weights and that um that about covers it Okay, so we're going to be starting with floor press again this week. Um, we're going to be doing four sets of 10 this time. So as you remember, this is like bench press, but on the ground. Um, throughout these workouts through weeks 11 through 12, um, I'm going to be giving you little tidbits of advice on how to do these movements or how to work these muscles in a gym setting. So if you do want to graduate to a gym after this if your gym is open during this time um then i will be giving you advice for that so um yeah if you want to like i don't know not take notes but just like maybe at the end of each workout jot down some stuff that i say that way you know for when you go to the gym that'd be cool actually you're gonna do these workouts twice so it'll probably be like ingrained in you because you'll hear me say the same thing Anyway, okay, so first set done, sorry. Um, we're doing a 30 second rest per usual. If you need a longer rest, you can always pause the video. All right, second set. Remember you're pressing your lower back into the ground, pressing up. Maya's in my way. Um, so if you wanted to do these in the gym, you would just be lying on a bench instead of lying on the ground. Um, and your elbows would come about to where they're, they're coming down to here. So um, it's basically the same exact movement, but on a bench. Um, once you are benching dumbbells that are at least like 25 pounds, you can try a barbell. The barbell's 45 pounds, so um, yeah. That's some badass, that's a badass milestone to hit and I hope you all hit it. All right, third set, get ready. And great job, just one more set. All right, fourth set. Every time I hold up a number, I can't help but notice how double jointed my elbows are, so just ignore that, thank you.
Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna be doing seated neutral press, supersetted with regular shoulder press. Four sets of eight of each. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna be sitting on this ladder, so just ignore the fact that I'm sitting on a ladder, but um, or a step stool. But you sit in a chair like a normal person. Okay, so we're gonna be doing eight reps of neutral press, immediately followed by eight reps of the standard shoulder press. Great job, y'all. Second set, let's do it. Great job. Okay, third set. It's pretty self-explanatory how you would do these in the gym, but um, with the gym you'll have more weights to play around with, so you won't need to do near as many supersets. Um, although supersets can be helpful and it's helping challenge us with our same weights at home, when you're at the gym, when a set of eight is too easy, you can just move up to the next set of dumbbells. Um, and just increase your strength that way. So yeah, comment if you have any questions about these gym tips I'm giving you. Time for a Maya break. Hello. She always looks so worried. All right, fourth set, let's do it. Good job, and next we'll be doing tricep dips, so get, get yourself ready for those. We'll be doing four sets of 15 over there.
Okay, four sets of 15. You know the drill, you can, why did I say drill like that? You know the drill, you can do it with your feet out or if that's too difficult, bring your feet in, which I'll show you on the next sets. But challenge yourself to have your feet out at least for some of the reps. Elbows to the back. Great job. It's almost tripped, no big deal. Okay, next set. You can do these with a regular bench at the gym. You can also do assisted tricep dips, which is usually the same machine as the assisted pull-ups. Um, you can also do the overhead tricep extension, which we have done before. And you can also do cable tricep extension, which is one of my favorite tricep exercises. So you got options at the gym. Okay, second set. Ready, set, go. And last set of these dreaded things. And after this, we'll be doing bent over row. So you can move your chair out the way. Okay, bent over row, we're doing drop sets. So <clears throat> four sets of 12 with both dumbbells immediately followed by 12 reps with the single dumbbell or a set of 12 with your heavier dumbbells immediately followed by a set of 12 with your lighter dumbbells. I don't know how to say that with less words. I know that's so wordy when I explain that every time. <laughs> anyway, mind to muscle connection, feel your back muscles engage and squeeze look at Maya just staring at me good job
Okay, next set. Let's do it. Set number three, for bent over rows at the gym, you can use dumbbells like we're doing here. You can use one dumbbell at a time like we were doing in the first couple weeks. You can also use a barbell. So either holding it underhand or overhand, you can get a barbell and a lot of gyms have preloaded barbells that are only like 30, 40, 50 pounds that you guys can do. So um, I recommend switching it up, doing some barbell, doing some dumbbell and you can also do cable rows and landmine rows there's so many row variations you can do but Next set, great job. Alright, next we're going to be doing bicep curls. We're going to be doing them a little differently, so get excited. So we're going to be doing what's called 21s. We're going to be doing three sets. Um, basically, you're going to be doing a set of you're gonna do seven reps at the bottom of the bicep curl, the bottom half of the curl. Seven reps, seven reps at the top half of the bicep curl, and then seven full reps, which comes out to 21, which is why they're called 21s. Um, but you're about to see me demonstrate it, but um, yeah, I just wanted to prepare you. Okay, so as you'll see here, we're doing seven reps at the bottom half of the movement. This is gonna burn, by the way, I'm sorry in advance. Great job, keep your elbows pinned to your side. All right, seven at the top of the movement. Squeeze your bicep at the top of each rep. Now seven full. Great job.
Okay, set number two. Killing it. And set number three. We're only doing three sets of this. You're welcome. Next, we'll be doing a shoulder superset, and then we're done with upper body. Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna be doing around the world supersetted with lateral raises. You're gonna do eight reps of around the world, immediately followed by immediately followed by ten reps of lateral raises. I choked on water. My apologies. <laughs> Okay, set of eight of Around the Worlds. Remember, elbows slightly bent. Coming up and around. Now lateral raises, great job. Okay, set number two, push through the burn.
set number three. Doing great. I know it's really starting to burn at this point, but don't cheat. Push through it. We're building strength and you have to, you know, sometimes you have to be a little uncomfortable to build your strength. And last set of these before moving on to core. Ready, go. And a great job. I'll meet y'all on the ground. Hello from the ground. Make sure you drink some water. As I'm about to show you here, hello. Maya is in for a rude awakening. Um, okay, we're starting with slow negative sit-ups. Three sets of 12. Gaining strength with these. Lowering down as slowly as possible, vertebrae by vertebrae. Maya, honey, thank you. All right, set number two. Brace your core, great job.
set number three. Y'all are doing great. Don't cheat. Get all 12 reps in. All right, great job, y'all. Proud of you. Next, we're doing our side planks. Two sets of 40 seconds each side. So that's next. Okay, get ready. Remember, keep your tailbone tucked, your core tight. Don't let your hips sag down. Straight as a board right now, okay? Ten more seconds. Keep it tight. And almost done. Don't give up. Great job. And my camera died right after this, so you're about to see a drastic change in lighting because I had to film the rest in the evening. So sorry about that. Ready, set. Drastic change of lighting. Okay, other side. Ready, set, go. Almost done, keep it going. Core tight. And good job. All right, 
little rest then the other side Okay, second set. Great job, other side. And almost done, keep it tight, don't give up. Tight core. And good job, y'all. Proud of you. Um, okay, so we're gonna be doing two sets of 30 on bicycle crunches and then we are good to go. Okay, so remember for these, first of all, we're doing two sets of 30 instead of 20, aka 15 on each leg. Keep your lower back pressed into the ground, core tight, and remember we're not rushing through, we're not whipping back and forth, it's a slow back and forth movement, making sure your core is tight. All right, last set, ready, set, go. Almost done. Good job, y'all. We did it. We made it through. Proud of you. Proud of me. Proud of Maya. Proud of us all. Um, make sure to stretch, eat some protein, drink some water, and that's it. That about covers it. I hope you had a good workout. Comment. Let me know how it went. 
And um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.